Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I don't know if you remember, but a few years ago I uh, built a ball mill and then I rebuilt it. And you know it worked, but it couldn't do very much, and it uh, didn't work very very well. And uh, so my dad and I have actually been redesigning it, and we're going to start from scratch and build an entire new one. I, in fact, uh, my dad's already started. He's uh, done about a day of work without me. Uh, he sent me a text, turns out he's got like the whole frame and the tub built and everything, and I'm like, ah, did you take video? <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll go uh, have a look at what he's got, and uh, I'll probably help him finish it. So, I'll see you guys over there. Uh-oh. How's that going to mount? <laughs> gonna have to build something to hold it there, huh? Yeah. A little bit small, short. Um, this thing's got a twist in it. There we go. Did you get it? Yeah. Well, that don't look bad. Okay, come and rotate the drive. What's wrong with that? And then your uh, motor is going to be turning this, right? Right. And it is right here. This is that one horse. Did you buy a new one? Or are you going to put that half horse from that on there? I was thinking maybe we could switch them. That's probably a good idea. This doesn't need that much power. <laughs> okay, and then we got a smaller pulley for the motor. Okay, so you're going little, big, little, big. That would be 30 RPMs on the drum. 30 I, should be about right. Yeah. I counted the RPMs by holding this on there and turning it. Okay. <laughs> The other two truck rims, huh? That's what we gotta do today. We gotta figure out a way to get that that system installed. Mm -hmm. Well, here's your uh, thing. Okay, so you have to unbold everything to get it off. Here's your loop on there. And then uh, I was thinking to load it, we should cut a door. Yeah. Right there. Something you can just. You know, reach in and just scrape everything out. But I like that you can disassemble everything to work on it. Yeah, you can take the plates off, you can take both sides off. And you can get in there and weld it. And this is carbon steel too, isn't it? It is. And then, uh, I was going to put the motor underneath here. We still could. We could mount the motor right here. And that flat belt can run however we want it, as long as that pulley don't hit there. I wonder if we could have it like this, just on the outside. Just push this over. Yeah. Would it just hit the head of them bolts? Yeah, I'd chew that up. So we're gonna have to move it back over. Mm -hmm. Do you have a seal in here? Nope. We could put one there, couldn't we? You could, you could silicone them. Is that gonna need one? Well, if you wanted to run them wet, it would. Or actually even dry it might be dropping dust on your motor. That's why I was thinking of having the motor up. Yeah. I, I like it underneath because it'd be more compact. But I guess it doesn't really matter. The only reason it'd be either way it'd probably be pretty serviceable, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See so you cut these uh, bolts off so they'd be shorter. Yeah. I wasn't planning on undoing that plate very much, uh -huh. but you could. Okay, so we got to decide. Do you want it under there, or should we bring it up here, where it's more serviceable? It would sure look cool having it up like that, wouldn't it? <laughs> let's, let's hold the motor up there again. There. Okay. So this is going to go about we there. We might have to go over and get some belts because the motor is going to have to be mounted on a plate out here. I think that's the best place. Yeah, right what's there. wrong with that? And then you're not dropping dust on your motor. Okay. And you can clean the motor, you can service it, it's right there. I can live with that. And you can grease this. You can, take, you can put a buddy greaser on that. Uh -huh. Let's 
see how this one runs and if it leaves you anything different. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can make a washer out of this. Oh yeah? RPM. I think that's about the right speed for the size. Okay. Check the motor. The motor should be 1800. 17, 30, 40. Close enough. Half a G force at the top, so we're about between half and 70% of the critical speed. What that's was that? Berry. It's got a bad berry. Uh, it might freeze it. This is probably the quietest it's ever going to run. Put those balls in there, it's going to make some noise. We got to go get it done, Gary. Is there a way we can grease it? I've been greasing it. Put oil right in there. Hmm. I'm glad you put the oil on top. That good. Yeah, I actually like how it looks more than anything. Another good thing about putting the motor up top, the dog won't get in it. Remember when uh, River had his tail go through that motor? <laughs> It's not slipping, is it? People are going to complain about the exposed belts. Well, you got to build guards for it. Don't plug it. Okay. I want to throw some balls in there and see how loud it is. Yeah, we got to get a door cut. we got to take it all back apart now. Yep. Okay. Calcite me. Calcite. I was digging this gray stuff out last time. Okay. Yeah, I got my own light. I moved over one direction or another and I was getting the brown rock. I get the get the white. Yeah, the brown rock didn't have it in it. Uh -huh. Or the gray, this. Mm, just wearing your safety goggles as a hat. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. It ain't gonna take long, is it? No. Nope. Try it, be ready to go. No 
flat. A bigger motor really helps. Pink calcite. It's probably just iron. this off. How long did it go? About three hours total? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it didn't leak very much after we sealed it. Okay. Now if we pull that off, see what we got. Looks like powder to me. Take this. Did you leave that? No, we can't. Yeah, yeah pull that plastic out of there. Let's see. Oh yeah, I don't even feel gritty. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna just pour out, isn't it? That's pretty good. Look at that. It's still gritty. Um. Maybe. No, it's just clumps. It was a little bit moist. And here is the material that was crushed in our ball mill. Look at that. It does clump, but it is powdered. That ball mill worked really well. Just a few hours, it converted a, well, a small bucket of ore into dust. <laughs> I will do a, a cyanide leach on this to see what I can extract, but that really wasn't the point. Uh, we were just doing like a, a test to see how fast we can crush a bit of ore. And since the ball mill wasn't contaminated yet, like we hadn't run anything else in there, I figured I'd do a little assay type thing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.